this is the thoracic limb, and this is the lateral side. Um, we've got the musculi supraspinata, which originates from the fossa supraspinatus. It terminates into two branches, onto the tubercular major and tubercular minor of the os humeri. But in carnivores, it's only the tubercular minor, and its function is to extend the shoulder joint. Musculus infraspinatus originates from the fossa infraspinatus and spina scapulae, and it terminates on the facies musculi infraspinatus below the great tubercle of the humerus, and it acts as a lateral collateral ligament, flexes the shoulder joint. The musculus deltoides, um, pars clav clavicularis, it originates on the spina scapulae and the caudal margin of the scapula. Clavicularis. It's not. Another part. Oh, shit. What? Um, the musculus deltoides pars acromialis. It originates on the spine of the scapulae and the caudal margin. It terminates on the tuberositis deltoidea and its function is to flex the shoulder joint and limb abduction. The musculus deltoides pars scapularis originates on the spina scapulae and the caudal margin. Termination of the tuberositis deltoidea and its function is to flex the shoulder joint and limb abduction. Teres minor. The teres minor, which you can't see, but it's underneath the deltoid muscle on the caudolateral surface of the shoulder joint, above, and it terminates on the above the tuberositis deltoidea, and its function is to flex the shoulder joint. Okay. The medial muscles of the shoulder. We've got the musculus teres major. It originates on the caudal angle of the scapula and it terminates on the tuberositis teres major with the musculus latissimus dorsi and its function is to flex the shoulder joint. We have the musculus articularis humeri. Horses. In, that's in horses and this is a <laughs> ruminant. And we have the musculus subscapularis. It originates on the fossa subscapularis and it terminates on the tubercular minus os humeri and it acts as a medial collateral ligament for flexion and extension of the shoulder joint. The musculus coracobrachialis. It originates via a tendon on the processus coracoidus of the scapula and it terminates on the tuberositis teres major and the cranio-medial surface of the humerus. Its function is to partially adapt the forearm and extend the shoulder joint. Okay?